Hi DLRs, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about whether or not you can use home automation on the Simon XTI or XTI5. And the answer is that you can, but it's kind of weird how it uh, how the features work in the system. Today we have an XTI set up, and I do have an XTI5 just to show you the difference. It's the same system, it just has a larger screen. So if you are in the market buying a new Simon panel, go with the XTI5 as it's going to be easier to use, and the bigger touchscreen does look a little nicer. On the XTI though, <clears throat> the, the system currently isn't monitored, but it does have the Z-Way controller installed in the unit. The caveat with the home automation features with this particular system is that the Z-Wave controller is actually built into the Alarm.com cellular module. The cellular module itself is not exactly a cheap part, so if you are looking to use home automation with the system, it really makes sense to get the system also monitored as you're going to be paying a premium for this piece. But with this said, if you do just want to use the home automation features in the system, you can buy an Alarm.com module, install it in your panel, and get the, uh, the basic home automation features from your panel. Again, there's no way around this, and they don't make a standalone Z-Wave controller for the system, so you are going to be spending a little more than you normally would to add this functionality into the system. But with that said, to show you how this works, we do have it built into the panel, or we do have the module installed in the system. If you click on the gear right here, this is going to bring us into system settings, and you're going to notice that you'll see it says lights right there and door lock right there. That's really the only things that this panel can control from the system itself. If you do get monitored by alarm.com, it really opens up the home automation features that you'll be able to use through the app. But if you do just want to use it as a local controller, you can control the lights or the door lock. And to actually enroll the devices into the system, we're going to press the down arrow, down, programming, hit enter. Everything is defaulted, so our code is 4321 to get into the programming menu. Now right down here on the bottom where it says interactive services, we'll click that. And then on the side, you'll see it says Z-Wave. So we don't have anything in the panel right now. I'm going to enroll in this door lock, this quick set door lock right here. After I take the cover off, I'm going to click add device. And now the system is in Z-Wave learning mode. So I pick up my Z-Wave device and I'm going to click the learn button. And as you can see, it just added it to the system. So I'm going to go ahead and click close. I'm going to click close again, close again, and close again. Now, if we go back into uh, the main pro or the, the the programming menu after clicking the gear, and we press the down arrow and we click on door lock, we'll see that this door lock actually shows up. So now, as you can see, it's currently unlocked. I'm going to click the lock button and I'm going to enter the regular security code, which is the default 1234. And as you can see, we can lock and unlock the door from the panel. Now, the only way that you can control the door lock if the system is not monitored and you don't want to get up and go to the actual panel itself, you'll have to get the talking touchscreen keypad for the system. On that keypad, you'll have a gear in the bottom where you can go to the same menu and operate the lights or the door lock. This is the only functionality that you're going to get, though, as far as home automation goes with this system without monitoring. So again, if you are going to spend the expense to get the, the Alarm.com module with the Z-Wave controller on top of it and installing it in your system, it really pays to get the system monitored by Alarm.com as that's going to give you an app where you can control your stuff on your phone. And it's also going to give you a wider array of home automation uh, capabilities. That's how to use home automation on your Simon XTI or XTI5 without it being monitored. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. If you have any questions about home automation, Simon panels, or alarm systems in general, feel free to head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728 or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day.